I have this tank bag that I'm really enjoying. It's uh, the First Gear Laguna. It, uh, it's a GPS bag. It has this spot here for a phone, but it's a, a little bit older bag. My phone won't fit there. Uh, it's got two pouches on each side that I keep, uh, keep filled with things that I need. Uh, over here, I usually keep all the uh, visor cleaning and and protection stuff i got a uh, flashlight and stuff in here um what's what's neat though is that well it's got this big compartment you can keep all kinds of stuff in there it's a large tank bag with expansion um, but the real one of the really neat things is since my motorcycle is a little small it doesn't have a lot of room on the handlebars to mount anything so this gps bag is uh is quite good because it keeps the gps in here um so meant like that it sits on the bike no problem uh, the only problem we have is this battery only lasts for two hours so what i'm going to do is uh, is energize it uh, i'm going to have it where i can plug it in uh, to my motorcycle, so the battery will, will never die. I keep my phone charged. And here's all the, the items I need to energize that tank bag. Um, so here's here's the device to plug in the, the GPS. Um, this is so I can keep phone or other things charged. Uh, the secret is this thing right here. This is a bulkhead connector. It fits through the tank bag, so you can plug in to the motorcycle. And this is the device, it's SAE on one side, hooks up to the battery terminals on the other side. And this right here is the Y connector. So I can plug this in to the bulkhead connector, then I can plug in one for this and one for one of these. I have an idea to eventually get a uh, short one of these and keep this under the seat so if I'm ever without the tank bag I can still charge a, a phone or what have you. Um, but yeah so I need to install install this now and I'll show you how to do that. So like I said this will poke through the tank bag and on the other side it will be sandwiched with this here. So the hole really needs to be this size because it's this part that goes through the bag so what i'll do is i'll figure out exactly where this goes and i'll mark it um you have to be careful my rain protection is in here so i had to make sure everything's moved over and get it to pass through all right so i got my whole hole marked so i can cut through you can barely see it because i used the black marker on black uh, and what I'm going to do is use the soldering iron to poke hole in there. Now, I don't have a tripod yet, so I'm not going to do this one-handed. Uh, but this is what I do. I poke the hole through, melting it, uh, so the bulkhead connector can go through. Alright, now I have the hole. So what I need to do is take the bulkhead connector, pass it through. I pass it through backwards so I can mark these holes so I can uh, so I can melt through the screw holes now. All right, got all the holes poked in. Now it's just time to pass everything through and attach the screw. All right, it was a little more trouble than what it looked like in other videos I've seen out there, um, but you do get the holes poked through, um, and so you know, I opened it where it is out of the way of everything. I still need to tighten these screws up a bit. I don't have the tools with me now. But uh, there it is, all poking through. I need to tighten that up and uh, and figure out how I want to run the cord. So this bag does have some uh, uh, some wire management in here. So that's nice. And we'll uh, see what it looks like in a minute. So there we go, out of here into this Y. And then I have a USB on this end for my phone. This is a 2.1 amp from Battery Tinder. And this is, uh, I think this is also battery tender, uh, but it plugs in here and I have the outlet there for my GPS. You can plug in, 
and get all powered up. Now, an interesting thing with this bag, I don't know if it was a defect or not, but see, I have this nice little port that goes through that would pass through to my Garmin. However, there's nothing on the other side, so I'll need to uh, I'll get that soldering gun out, poke another hole through, see how it works. But I might go to another location to try to make sure this thing doesn't fill it with water and then uh, leak into my tank bag just in case. Um, but I mean, this thing isn't waterproof anyway, that's why it has the, the rain fly, which is nice because it's got a window through it, so I can cover it all up. Um, but I uh, still want to think about it just to just to make sure. So the bad thing is, uh, while I poked a hole in this side, uh, I didn't think about this. I think this is the traffic receiver part. It doesn't fit through there, so I'm going to have to widen this hole a little bit to get that through. I thought about taking this part apart, but it doesn't look like it disassembled easily. Um, so it's easier to melt the tank bag than it is to take everything else apart. So I just widened that hole a little bit. Now I have this all routed through here, off to the side, so it shouldn't take too much room. Poke through here, and then I'll loop it and plug it in. Um, I was told that this acts as an antenna for the uh, traffic receiver. Um, I think that might be the main part, but I don't understand this yet because if I just plug it in, it doesn't work. I have to find out if I, once it's energized, if the traffic camera will work or a traffic camera, uh, the traffic sensor. Um, so my idea is to kind of loop it around so it's it's got more exposure rather than just bundled up upon itself. So this will have a, a loop in here and then plug in the back. And uh, we still have uh, the bag to wire and then we'll be able to plug it in.